Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen at Soul Magic 99 and today I'm doing a Twin Flame conversation reading between the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. So there's various different things we're going to talk about so I'm going to alternate between the Masculine and Feminine piles as we go okay because it's going to be like a conversation. Okay so thank you everybody for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting on my channel. Please keep doing so because when I get to 2000 there will be a giveaway of two free readings and two free decks I've designed. So thank you for watching. So let's get on with the messages. So first off we start with the masculine. How does he see his feminine right now? So he does want that new beginning. He wants that new beginning with his feminine. He wants a chance to try again. Because I know a lot of you in separation or no contact. And he does want a fresh start in this connection. He sees you as quite magical. You know, he might not quite understand everything about you or what you're about. But he sees you as somebody magical. Somebody that can manifest what they desire into their life. And he really admires that about you. And you've opened up his eyes and his mind to what there is in the world. You know, there's more than the 3D. He's, he's opening up his mind. You've opened up his um, view of the world. The way you see the world has opened up his view um, to what he thought the world was for him. So it's given him that expansiveness. <clears throat> he sees that you're a very compassionate person. You're very kind, caring compassionate and you've showed this to him as well in the past and again he really likes that about you he sees that you have really good self-esteem you know you've got that good self-worth that self-esteem you're loving yourself and again that draws him back to you he really admires that about you And he feels quite protective of you as well. He wants to protect you. He has this overwhelming desire to protect you. Okay. So how does the feminine see her masculine? So she feels that obviously this connection has been going round and round in cycles. You know, you could have had that runner chaser energy. You could have like been together, then apart, then together. So it's like cycles. You know, never-ending cycles. So that's how the feminine feels about it. She again wants a renewal. She wants a reconnection with her masculine, though, because she does feel that there's a lot that they could explore together and she wants the chance to try again with her masculine because she doesn't feel that they had the chance with this connection before to fully explore it. She wants to go with the flow though, she wants to go with the flow of life and trust in divine timing and she realises that if she's meant to reconnect with her masculine she will reconnect with him when the time is right. It's all down, as we always say, divine timing. There's been lots of obstacles to overcome um, for the feminine, you know, not just in this connection but in her life. There's been a lot of things that she's had to overcome and you know it's been quite a difficult time for her but she's doing the work and she's overcoming these obstacles and by obstacles i mean you know it's it's sometimes it's these issues from our past that we need to overcome like heal these issues and do the healing work and going through things like dark night of the soul and she's been doing her work she's working on these issues right now and she's getting the confidence, you know, she's got that confidence in herself and she sees the masculine as a very confident person. Um, but deep down, she knows that sometimes he uses that as a cover and he may not feel as confident as he lets on sometimes. And she wants him to have focus. She sees that he is somebody who is quite focused. He might be somebody quite career driven, you know, very focused on his work. So she, she admires that um, in him. <clears throat> so how does the fem uh, masculine see the feminine? He wants to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations with her. He wants to be able to discuss his feelings, to be open and honest with her. You know, maybe they've not had the chance to do this and he really feels that he needs to do this at some point. 
He feels a lot of chemistry, you know, very strong magnetic attraction, magnetic pull, even if they're not in communication or even seeing each other. He, do, he does feel that connection still with his feminine. And he's trying to stay optimistic about his love life. Um, he knows that he needs to be positive and have faith that things will work out in divine timing. And he has romantic feelings for his feminine. He may, again, he may not have shown her this or declared it, but the feelings are there. And, you know, despite the amount of time they've spent apart or the distance apart or the lack of communication, the feelings are growing stronger in his heart. So what about the feminine? She wants to flirt. She wants to flirt and be light-hearted with her masculine. Just keep that light-hearted vibe going. She's worried there are red flags, um, you know, about this person and this connection. So she is wary at the moment. And she's letting her friends help her. Maybe she's spending time with her friends at this time and, you know, sharing her thoughts and feelings and, and getting help and support from her friends and spending time with her friends right now. <clears throat> so where is the masculine at right now with his feelings? We've got consumed, obsessed, ruminating, all-encompassing. I do think he has, you know, got these thoughts about the feminine that he can't sort of get out of his mind you know he can't get out of his mind basically and it's sort of becoming an obsession he's someone who likes to be in control um to feel confident as a masculine and he has thoughts of being dominant with his feminine very much so <clears throat> um he may have had a tower moment here and these come in to shake up our world if things are not going in the right direction or we're not doing things to help us on our path. And he's had a period of feeling that his life is unravelling and he's feeling unstable. But he's, because of this situation, he's gaining illumination. He's becoming more conscious, more aware. Okay, and we just had the new moon. So again, I feel that's significant, you know, that things are moving forward in a new way for the masculine so what about the feminine <clears throat> so she knows that she wants to resolve any differences she's got with the, the masculine she doesn't want to leave things unsaid she wants to make love not war she's been helping she's been using natural remedies to help her <clears throat> with her mental or emotional issues at this time to help herself heal. As I said, there's healing work doing, being done. She's been doing mirror work maybe and working on that self-love for herself. And she's work, living in the moment. She's fully embracing the joy she can find in her daily life, in her connections with other people. So where's the masculine at? <laughs> So he's he's gone through a phase of feeling un, unmotivated and overwhelmed. And he may have felt stuck, you know, I think that's why the tower come in. He was stuck in his life, in a relationship, in behaviours. So the tower comes in to shift that energy. Um, he's somebody that connects with animals. Maybe he's got a pet that's helped him. You know, pets give love unconditionally. And they're a good example of that to people. And they really help people heal. <laughs> Um, he could be a father in life. He may already have children with somebody else or it's something that he feels that he would like for himself to become a father at some point in his life. He wants to be, have that nurturing side to him expressed. And he's becoming more self-aware and he's taking time out at the moment to reflect on the choices and decisions and having that alone time right now. What about the feminine? Yeah, so... Some of the feminines could have been going through some ill health. Um, it could have been real health issues or it could be caused by fear and anxiety, which brought on other health issues. So they're working on resolving that. They could have had some addictions or unhealthy behaviours as well, you know, that they're working on right now. 
some of them could be star seeds and they've come here to you know help in the ascension and raise the consciousness and a lot of them are awakening to this um, destiny right now they may have been feeling sad depressed or low and quite lonely and they they may have had a fear of lack of not having enough and i don't just mean in the fina financial sense i mean maybe they didn't feel there was enough for the masculine but they've worked on themselves and they're starting to feel more abundant, more fulfilled. They're radiant, positive and hopeful right now. So where are they on the journey? Where's the masculine out on his journey right now? So there could be codependent issues, attachment issues, neediness that he's working on here. He's had past life memories that have been triggered within him. So again, he's, you know, that stirred up a lot of feelings. He's, he's having nostalgia about the times that he did share with his feminine. Those times they shared, the loving moments, the sensual moments, the deep connection they shared. And he's doing his inner healing right now. So that's positive. And the cards go again. So with the feminine, she can't get this person out of her head, basically. She can't stop thinking about her, her masculine. And she just feels this magnetic pull back to him all the time. But she's missing that sensual sexual bliss. She thinks about that often that they shared. And she's doing some healing as well in the child work here. So they are mirroring each other right now. So what does the masculine want to say? I'm best friends with my divine partner first and love a second and my partner knows they can depend on me to be there for them through thick and thin so he's working on this he wants to be more supportive he wants to be his female feminine's best friend first off he wants to have that you know that solid basis of a friendship first i make peace with karmic partners and learn lessons from difficult relationships of the past these experiences enable me to be a better spouse to my divine partner so he needs to make peace with this. He needs to forgive them, the other people involved, forgive himself for the past, to let go, to enable himself to move forward peacefully. So what about the feminine? I'm curious to get to know my divine partner on a deeper level, to understand them and learn more about their life, their values, beliefs and desires. So she feels that she's not had a chance to get to know him and she wants to get to know him more. I look beyond the surface of my divine partner to truly appreciate their true beauty and appreciate their deep, complex layers. So, yeah, she doesn't go on, you know, appearances, basically. She wants to go beyond appearances. She wants to, you know, delve deeper into what makes him tick, her masculine tick. So what does the masculine want to say to his feminine right now? I know I never told you this, but I do have deep feelings. I fucking love you. Meeting you brought up old hurts and I built up a wall to protect my heart, but I do not want to protect it anymore. I get random flashbacks of you and me, the passion we shared, the sex, it was amazing, you are amazing and no one else compares. When I first looked into your eyes, I was lost, lost deep in your soul. Give me the chance to prove myself to you and I will do better. I want to be open-hearted, just us two. Passionate lovemaking, it was not just sex. I did everything with deep feeling, wanting us to connect. So there's deep feelings there from the masculine, even if he's not expressed it. What does the feminine want to say? Beautiful rainbows in my heart when I think of you. Lonely nights in the dark, all this time we are apart. Do you want to know a secret? I want to tell you mine. I've loved you forever, from before until the end of time. My love for you is pure. I want you to be happy, no matter what, okay? Even if it's not with me, of this I am so sure. Tell me, do you care for me? Do you think of me at all? I long for you so much, we deserve to have a ball. My passion overwhelms me, it takes my breath away, that I can feel so much and yet I don't know if you even care. So there's deep passionate feelings, but maybe they've not expressed it to each other yet at all. So what does the masculine want to happen in this connection moving forward? 
You know, he wants to have love in his life. He's realised that he does want love in his life. He wants to date the feminine. He wants to have serious dating. You know, take it steady like weeks and then weeks become months. You know, take it steady. He wants to have a family with his feminine. You know, he wants to take her out for meals. You know, tease and flirt with each other. You know, he wants to have that love in his life. He's working on his self-love and knows that he needs and deserves love. And he wants to have open and honest talks with his feminine about how he's feeling. And he doesn't judge anyone and he hopes the feminine doesn't judge on looks because he wants to get to know her beyond the surface as well. And we've got this commitment, wanting to commit to each other. So he does want a commitment moving forward, okay? So what about the feminine? Yeah, she feels this is a love connection. She wants that togetherness with the masculine. And she wants those moments, you know, those intimate moments. Watch the sun come up together. Long talks under the stars, sharing those special moments. She felt an immediate connection and that playful energy they had, they shared. And again, she wants to really get to know her masculine and she wants him to get to know her deep on a deep level. Because they, they have, have fun together, they want to have fun together. And she loves being in his company. And again, the meals out, intimate meals for two. You know, dating, lots of kissing, passion, you know, love making. And go away for a little holiday on a weekend. Have lots of sexy fun times. And again, she wants that commitment as well. So they're mirroring each other again. Okay, so they're both sort of on the same page. But I can't tell you the timing on that. Actually, I could get a timing thing in a minute. Let's get some divine messages. So what's the guidance from spirit for the masculines? Got mentor. So maybe the masculine needs to find a spiritual mentor of some sort, you know, to help him. Maybe he's got a lot of questions that he needs answers to at this time. Lost love. I think that's what he's feeling about his feminine right now. He's feeling that it's a lost opportunity, a lost love, and he wants to make amends. We can see that. Sudden change. So there could be sudden change um, in his life or the way he, you know, what he decides to do with regard to this connection. And he wants that balanced partnership. So what about the feminine? So she feels there could be competition for a masculine. She's spending time alone right now. Because she's working on balancing her emotions. And she's having patience. She may need to travel to relocate. But she's in connection with her soul family right now. She's getting that support and guidance from her soul family right now. Some advice from spirit we've got now. This is for the masculine. So live in the moment. Live your life in each moment. Guide. Spirit guide. Helping and guiding through life. Signs from spirit. So we saw that, didn't we, about mentor. So maybe there is somebody in the physical or maybe it's a spirit guide that is assisting your masculine right now who's helping him on their journey or he's connecting with the divine in some way. And we have love, heartfelt passion, unconditional love, togetherness with your partner. So this is something the masculine is really wanting now. Okay, he does want that love connection with his feminine. So let's get some advice for the feminine.
children. Unconditional love, purity, innocence, nurturing. Again, some of you feminines could already have children maybe with another partner. Or this is something that you're really wanting with your masculine. You want a family, okay? Yeah, family. So definitely you want a family. You want to have a partner and, and children moving forward. And you want that relationship. You know, you want that equal give and take relationship with a person, your divine masculine, um, who respects you and your equals in that partnership. So let's get some timing issues. Now, it don't always work. Let's see if we can see when you might reconnect. I just can't shuffle these cards. So we have February. Date at the beach. So that could be soon, maybe. The weather is still good. Check social media. We have July. A movie at my place. So maybe you're going to catch up in one of your homes and watch a film. And we've got winter. So obviously it's different, you know, there's so many people that watch, you know, it's a general reading, so take whatever resonates. So I'm just going to get some final healing advice for them both. So this is for the masculine. Some healing advice for the masculine, please. Got to keep an open mind. Nurture yourself, very important. And have self-esteem. So he needs to work on his self-esteem. We've had that lot in the readings where the solar plexus chakra is in need. And the universe is your guide. So I do feel he is connecting with some sort of universal guidance, some spirit guides or angels. It's connecting him with something or someone, some guidance. So finally for the feminine, please. Healing messages for the feminine. Get creative, yeah, get creative, you know, what can you create in your world, you know, what is it you like to do, what is your passion? It happens in divine timing, so yes, you know, go with the flow, don't try and force things to happen. And love is the highest frequency of all, we are all, all love. So do everything in your life with love and be love. And listen to the sound of the ocean. Maybe you can get down to the ocean. That's very healing and calming and restorative. The sea air, you know, I went, I went last week myself and it is so healing. You know, the air, you know, it's just such a different air. So anyway, there are your messages. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see you again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.